In this video, you'll learn how to use traffic shaping on your 48 to limit the bandwidth for a specific IP address. When a particular IP address on your network is using too many resources, you can prevent that IP from consuming your bandwidth indiscriminately. First, you'll create an address object to target a specific internal IP address, then you'll create an internet access policy for that IP address, and enable traffic shaping. When that user attempts to upload the shared traffic shaper, it will restrict the bandwidth limit to 200 kilobits per second. You will also use a reverse shaper to restrict the bandwidth on downloads. First, go to System, Feature Select to enable traffic shaping features. Scroll down and enable traffic shaping. Apply your changes, and two traffic shaping menus will appear under Policy and Objects. Now that we're under Policy and Objects, go to Addresses and define the address you would like to limit. Select Create New and then select Address. Enter a descriptive name like Limited Bandwidth. Set Type to IP Net Mask, Subnet IP Range to the internal IP address you'd like to limit, and set Interface to Any. Next, go to Policy and Objects, Traffic Shapers, to create a custom Traffic Shaper profile. Select Create New. The type is automatically set to Shared. Name your shaper Limited Bandwidth and set the traffic priority to Medium. Note that setting a traffic priority will only have an impact if traffic shaping is applied on all your traffic shaping policies using the same interfaces. There must be some variation in priority. For example, you won't see any results if all policies are set to the default setting of high. Set the max bandwidth and an optional value for the guaranteed bandwidth. Make sure that the guaranteed bandwidth rate is lower than the max bandwidth, and apply your changes. If you look at the type of your finished shaper, you'll see it's a shared shaper. Shared shapers apply traffic shaping evenly by distributing the bandwidth to all policies using it. You can also enable per policy shaping to apply shaping individually to each policy. Right click your new limited bandwidth shaper and select Edit in CLI. Enter the following CLI commands Set per policy enable, end. Now that per policy shaping is enabled, edit your limited bandwidth shaper and set apply shaper to per policy. Now each shaper using this policy will have the same distribution of bandwidth regardless of the number of shapers using this policy, or in this example, 200 kilobits per second each. Go to Policy and Objects, IPv4 Policy, and look at your General Internet Access Policy. Take a note of the incoming interface, outgoing interface, source, and destination. You'll use the same settings for the traffic shaping policies you'll create next. And make sure that logging options is set to all sessions for testing purposes. Next, go to Policy and Objects, Traffic Shaping Policy, and select Create New to create a traffic shaping policy that will set regular traffic to high priority. Under Matching Criteria, in this example I'm setting Source, Destination, and Service to All. But in your case you'll want to be more specific, so just match it with your settings in the IPv4 policies that you noted in the previous step. Under Apply Shaper, set the outgoing interface to match your Internet Access Policy's outgoing interface. Enable Shared Shaper and select the High Priority Shaper. This affects upload speeds. Now enable the Reverse Shaper and set it to High Priority to affect download speeds too. Now create a second traffic shaping policy that will affect the IP address you want to limit. Under Matching Criteria, set Source to Limited Bandwidth. Set Destination and Service to All. Apply the shaper to the same outgoing interface. Enable Shared Shaper and set it to Limited Bandwidth, and also enable the Reverse Shaper. Apply your changes, and then order your traffic shaping policies so that your more granular Limited Bandwidth policy is above your general High Priority Internet Access policy.
Browse the internet from a computer with the IP address you'd like to limit, and its bandwidth will be restricted by the amount you set in the shaper. Go to FortiView Sources to view the traffic from the limited IP address. Since we set a low threshold, some traffic might be dropped. Remember that to see concrete results, you'll need to have sufficient high-priority traffic on your internal network and low enough bandwidth limitations that the limited bandwidth policy reaches the threshold. Go to FortiView, Traffic Shaping, to view the current bandwidth usage for any active shapers. Users on the local network will have high priority. The IP address you specified will receive limited bandwidth treatment and may experience dropped bytes. You can also view these results in a bubble graph and sort by different categories like bandwidth to verify the policy usage. You can also double click on either shaper to see more granular information. Select the Destinations tab to see which websites are using up the most bandwidth. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. You can also see a text version of this video on the Fortinet Cookbook website.